Hello friends, it's been a while since we've had a Soft Drink Disciples episode, and today is your lucky day. Zach, I think it's been over a year. Yeah, I think so too. I, yeah. And guess what, Zach? What? A lot has happened in a year. A lot has happened in a year. I had a baby. You did have a baby. You're in school full time. Yeah. I'm working full time, but we still had room for one thing. For you to go to the store and to get us some new drinks to test out and let the world know what we really think. Right. Because the like they're not going to go out and buy this if they don't hear our right, review. Right, we are we are very big soda connoisseurs, so big that uh, yes, we, I like the ice. Okay, no, no, I want ice too. Okay, I want ice. So want ice what well. are we? So today we have yeah. Point Premium uh, sodas. These are from Wisconsin. I picked these up at the uh, Cheese Castle. Oh yeah, the, yeah, 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 the yeah, legit yeah, Cheese Castle. Okay. The, it's I believe it's called the Mars Cheese Castle. Yeah. And uh, so we have black cherry cream, mm. which uh, I'm excited about. I'm more excited for this than okay. I am um, the other option. But then I also had to get just the classic. Premium root beer. Just root beer. 100% real sugar, real draft style crafted in Wisconsin. There's something about Wisconsin and beer and root beer. Like they take it very ser- seriously. Well, yeah. You got the brewers. You got Milwaukee. You got a ton of breweries around Milwaukee. I'll read the things that we know what they are. Carbonated water, sugar, I don't know what that thing is. Honey, caramel color, artificial flavors. I mean, like, so for the most part, in vanilla extract, um, extract is the last thing. Again, root beer is caffeine free. That's also right. a little. So let, let's start off with the classic root beer. I think. Okay. I think that'll be good. I gotta get some ice. And because um, Zach is wanting to be hip and cool with all, not just our millennial viewers, but even our younger crowd, he's gonna kick off the cap. Uh, he's gonna do a no, roundhouse. No, not. Yeah, we're excited to show this to you. We got a close up cam here. Oh, kick it off, man! I'll hold I it. Can, like... I'll hold it, and you kick it. Woo! How about that? Woo! Steven, man. Well, listen, I appreciate you inviting me back to do another episode. Of course. Because it, it has been a hot minute. It's been a hot minute. Okay. So, cheers. cheers. I love me some root beer. It's possible that in a previous episode I said that I like... Um, Cream soda, cream soda more. more than root beer, or I said ginger ale, cream soda, root beer. But root beer, I mean, like I like this more than the RC cola that we. Oh drank yeah. That one oh yeah, oh, yeah. Wait, or did that win the t- taste test? That won the it. that won the blind taste test, yeah. I think, or it ranked higher than I remember. It's been a year. I like this a lot. This, this is, is really good. smooth. Yeah, it's a good root beer. It tastes vanilla, which I like in my root beer. I think all root beer has vanilla in it. Now this is interesting because. This is the first soda I've had in a month and a half. Mm. So I've, I switched to just water. Okay. That doesn't really work unless we do sparkling waters for our future episodes. Well, no. I, I, I So here's what I decided. I You know, I was thinking I drink a little bit too much soda. Yeah. I really do. I substitute it for water. Yeah. Or like, you know, I, I do it in... I drink more soda than I do water. Or at least I used to. Okay. Okay. Which is not good. Um, and so... I got a kidney stone scare um, in the fact that my brother got one and I had yeah, to watch yeah, that. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? But I decided, you know what, for this show, you got you to gotta keep it with the... Thanks for breaking the, the soda fast. Of course. Um, I like review, that a lot. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to drink anymore because we have five more sodas to go through burp today. Cam. But Oh, yeah, burp cam. <laughs> That's all I got. It was a little um, one. Does root beer make you burp? You know what? I've never been a burper. No. I like, I like... I like to burp your baby. I'm a little baby. You're my firstborn. I'm going to burp you. <laughs> See, now it just looks like I'm going to, like, throw up. Yeah. It will someday be spit up. There you go. Oh, you got to look at the burp cam. Oh, yeah. Burp So, I, I like that a lot. I think it's really, really yeah, good. good. I think choice, it's smooth. Man. I don't think it's anything special, though. I, nothing really, like, stuck out to me, at least. There's a Chicago root beer that I usually get that I, I should bring on the show. Um, that it's very very comparable. Is it A and W? No, it's Chicago style. It has the Chicago flag on it. Whoop! Wow, that's some fizz. See the tip. The the whole trick is to tilt it when you pour it. I think if we look at the replay, I think I did that with the root beer. 
I don't know. This is really, really red. Cheers. Have you ever heard of the rock band Gore? No. Gore, it's like a death metal band, and they spray Fago all over their crowd. I thought that was Insane Clown Posse. No, I think it's Gore. G W A R. I don't like this. This is my two cents. I think, you know what? You know what it honestly tastes like? Fago. I think it tastes more like actual, like. Che- black cherry juice. It is a black juice. cherry, yeah. Red, it's not like super sweet like you would think of like a cherry slushy that you get. I mean, it's sweet for sure. Yeah. But it's not like... It's not horrible, but I don't know that I would buy a six pack of black cherry cream. It's probably going to yeah. dye your teeth red if you drink a lot of it. You know what this reminds me of? What? Kool-Aid? Maybe this is, this is some like weird PTSD that I have. But we took a family vacation to South Dakota, and we used to get, like, all these, like, weird craft sodas at, like, Wall Drug and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It reminds me of, like, that sort of stuff. Yeah. Like, not name brand, touristy, like, mm-hmm. gimmicky stuff. I mean, like, they didn't make a horrible drink, but it's not, uh... I would definitely choose the root beer over the... Oh, yeah. So this is one episode here, because we're not showing the other ones in this episode. Right. So, uh, for this episode, between these two, root beer wins... Point makes a solid root beer. Uh, if you want to go off the the beaten path and try a little something different that's going to dye your tongue or your teeth red, yeah. then you know maybe check out their their cherry cream, wild cherry. Is it wild cherry or black cherry? Black cherry cream. Yeah. If you want to, if you want to prank somebody, you can spray it on them and get their shirt all stained. I mean, yeah, you could do that with any soda though. If they're wearing a white shirt, that's true. That's true. That's <laughs> a mean joke. So that is the least useful advice of this entire episode. But you missed us, didn't you? Yeah, you did miss us. And this is a good, good... That was a ghost. That was weird. You see that, Ghost Hunters? See, not only are you watching us for the sodas, but now we have like a whole new genre of We're going to break into the Ghost Hunters. Thanks, Wisconsin. Hey, thanks for viewing us. We'll see you again for another episode very, very soon. That was the- oh, you almost got it. <laughs>